You know, I was I remember late late last year around the election time in 2020. I remember them talking about a dark winter, and I'm said to myself, I don't know what why they keep saying dark winter. I, if I'm not mistaken, I think if not Trump, Biden said it in one one of his you know uh, speeches, and I'm sitting here and I'm, I live here in Dallas, Texas, and. You know, I was just thinking, is this what they mean? A dark winter? You know, with Houston still with lights out and Portland, you know, um, right now our lights are on. They've been on for about almost a full day. You know, they've been going off and on all week. You know, um, I'm still trying to understand this concert to uh, conserve the power, conserve the energy, you know. And I was thinking this morning, did they ever shut down downtown Dallas because you know downtown Dallas have a lot of lights and it wouldn't be right for downtown Dallas to be lit up while people while the residents don't have any heat day in day out for the last week now you know so I was looking into that and I found out that Dallas downtown Dallas um they did shut down some of the lights but not all of them um I guess they call the essential lights stayed on and non-essential lights went off they took they cut those off you know to conserve energy you know i don't know how to look at that or how they play that out in my mind you know because um i still don't feel like people should have been out with, without lights if, if you know especially when there was actually nothing wrong with the power they were just cutting the lights off and on because they can and who gets aside what what grid is on and and what grid is off? You know, I just recently found out Texas has its own grid, which I did not know that until, until all this took place. And it's just really mind-boggling to know, you know, people, other people have no idea who they are, have so much power over my life and everyone's lives. Even if you pay your, your light bill, your, your energy bill, you, it can still be cut off because... They choose for it to be cut out. And I'm just trying to put all this together, you know, process all of this. Because now, this is just really interesting to find out that they, you know, was rolling the lights off and on whenever area they feel fit. You know, if our lights come on, then some other house on, in another area, their lights go off. And then, you know, they didn't, they, they power get turned off and vice versa. You know, um... I want to be thankful that I, we have our lights back on, but who to say it won't happen again? This is not over. You know, I'm actually thinking about this really. They already gave us heads up that it was going to be a dark winter already, and I never understood why. Why do they keep mentioning a dark winter? And now I'm starting to see what that actually means, which tells me this stuff be already playing out maliciously, you know. This will happen organically. They, they want us to believe it. It, it happened organically, and they have to come in with, with the idea of how to correct the situation when they're the one who caused the chaos. You know, all out of chaos. Okay, sorry about that. I I thought I had hit pause, but it's still it's still recording. Um, but yeah, what was I? I was you know order out of chaos. Yes. You know I've been seeing a lot of channels talking about this. You know, more and more people waking up and seeing the deception behind the entertainment on television. You know, because because it comes to us in in a form of entertainment. So we don't, you know, I guess pay attention, close enough attention to realize we just being lied to and mistreated. You know, I just feel like this whole past year could have just been planned so much better to where it would have benefited the, the residents. You know, there's no reason why residents should be worried about eviction and paying bills especially when they was told their jobs was non-essential and, and to go home and thank you for your services, you know. 
it's just so much going on that I don't know if it could be changed or not. Is it too late or what? Uh, I'm just I'm just thankful to see a lot of channels breaking up, you know, to the deception and you know, looking through. See, I'm sorry, seeing through what we should be. We're having trouble to see through, but we have to help each other see through the the foolery. You know, they you know, we be told that it's all for our own good, but is it? You know, it comes in so easily in form of entertainment that we don't even see it that it's really a form of destruction. You know, and y'all young people, y'all really need to know what's going on. Y'all really need to see and take time the news media. Because they, they tell you the news, they just disguise it, you know, as if it's something else. But we really need to be paying close attention to what they're telling us. Okay, because I always thought to myself, why do they keep saying dark winter? Yeah, we having a dark winter now here in Dallas, Houston, Portland. There's probably some other outage I don't even know about yet, you know. You know, and I was watching this one other Facebook channel. She, this one lady, her name was Dr. World, W O R L D, and she had did a Facebook live showing how the electric electric trucks they hadn't even moved. They parked up in the back of the hotel where they had to go stay because they didn't have any lights in their home. And I'm, if I'm not, and I'm not mistaken, she. If I'm not mistaken, I believe she actually stayed in Dallas also. You know, and and she had pointed out some. She was saying how she know people had died during this, during this freeze, this uh, energy <laughs> saving energy. I don't even understand that still. I don't know why the energy had anything to do with the cold. Now I can understand your water being busted because your pipes. You know, froze. But the energy, I, I really don't know. You know, just... I just know that we are being lied to. And we all need to wake up. Okay? It's a whole lot more going on. And we we, we are distracted. You know, people who, who had to find some warm shelter. First thing they asked him, did you get vaccinated? I mean, you know, it's just... Don't I, I I honestly feel like this here is all happening to push us in a direction that the government wants us to go into. And I don't know how we're going to get around that if we don't wake up. 